Hello everyone, welcome back. Now, at some point in your life, you might have had a big night and on your way home, you've stopped in to some takeaway place and grabbed some nugs. Now, by the time you've made it home, you haven't felt like eating them or you didn't eat all of them. What do you do with the rest of them? Now today, I'm gonna to show you what to do with the rest of them. We're gonna make a classic sandwich that should be on the menu in every restaurant you come across. It's called the Nagosti. All right, let's get to it. Now to start with, two slices of white bread. Don't use wholemeal, don't use multi-grain, has to be white bread. We're making a classic sandwich here. It's not like you can just throw some nuggets in between two pieces of bread and put it in a toasty maker. That's not what we're going for here. Now to start off with, we have to use proper butter. None of this margarine or spreadable or anything like that. It's just not gonna work. We're looking for results here. We're not looking for something that's close to. So we've got to spread it, get it all the way to the edge. We want this to crispen up. In fact, if you even own margarine, just, just turn this video off right now. Like you, you're one step away from eating plastic. All right. Two pieces of bread covered in butter. First step complete. Second step, grab your nugs. and we're gonna be slicing them. So you want thin slices, just like that. Okay, step two complete. Grab out your toasty maker, butter side down, and then we wait till we load it up. First of all, you wanna put the chopped up nugs on the bread. In this fashion. That way we get the crispiness on the side when we bite into it and it doesn't all blend in. You may not need all the nugs that you chopped up. You might be able to you know, make two sandwiches out of this, but for this instance, all we want to do is load up enough to cover the bread. Like so. This is where people could struggle at the moment due to a worldwide shortage. We want some sriracha sauce. This one has Tabasco in it, which will help you out with this recipe. Otherwise, use straight sriracha and add a little bit of Tabasco to it. You wanna cover it zigzag fashion, like so. All right, next step, Gouda cheese. Can't just put any cheese on this, has to be Gouda. Otherwise, it's not a ghosty. Like how many slices do you put on? Depends on the thickness of the cheese. In this instance, we are gonna be putting one on. From there, fairly simple. Lid on, butter side up, down and Toast. And we 
Okay. Now on to the important final step. Take it back over to the chopping board. Okay, final important step. Cut it on a diagonal. We're not cavemen anymore. We make things fancy. And what do we end up with? Classic Negosti. <laughs>